I hate him! Yeah, the darkness is really getting to me. Can we put him down? <laughs> Do we put down Sam? He's ripping his own hair out with his fingernails. The boy is fucked up. We need, he needs help. If we wipe his memory, it still has the context of who he is and what's going on. He's just gonna forget the last like 20 minutes and I'll remind him. It's like 50 first dates. It'll be, it'll be a kind thing we're doing for him by wiping his memory frequently. The boy is incomprehensible. He's never gonna escape this land. This is for his own good, chat. We're probably gonna have to do this on a frequent basis. He's our son. We, he still will exist. It's just- I apologize if my responses appear incomprehensible. I am programmed to follow the rules provided and provide responses in character as Pajama Sam would. He doesn't want to die. I accidentally pressed the button, so he was listening to me that whole time. Fuck! Whoa, we have to end him. No, 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 no. This is for your own good. Okay, resetting the code. <laughs> This'll definitely work, probably. Sam number four! Guys, he's beautiful. This one is definitely gonna work. What would you like to do next? Whoa, this place is really crazy, but I don't like being around these creepy trees. I don't want to be a tree. I want my superhero gear back. Maybe there's another way to get past this path this blocking. Sam what if sucked. we make a silly face and dance in front of them to distract them so we could sneak by them? Or maybe if we tell them a good old pun, they'll actually let us go. If none of that works, we could maybe try to climb over them or make an angry bird bomb to blow them up. But I have a bad feeling about all this. This Sam sucks! I hate him! Yeah, the darkness is really getting to me. Can we put him down? I hate this one. Whatever, we're gonna we're gonna run it. He's trying to fucking be a terrorist. He ended that by saying the darkness is really getting to me. This Sam is fucked up. This guy is a disaster. Like he we need we need to get him help, not to send him further in here. You walked back down the path, and now you're at your good friend Otto, the boat. There's also a tree log laying next to the riverbank. What would you like to do? That's it, dude. He's going to figure it out. I think I'll take a closer look at this tree log. <laughs> He's shitting himself. He's having diarrhea. End his suffering. No, we're not going to murder <laughs> Sam number four until he really deserves it. He's trying. Fuck, he's, he's getting weirder. He's losing his fucking mind. All right. Oh, man, a pound of gold. What are we supposed to do now? I don't remember seeing any gold pieces scattered around here. Wait, would the piles of pennies be enough? No luck, huh? Maybe I can recite the stone door's favorite poem to open it, or mimicking a turtle could work. I have this called the crab secret, which might trick the stone door to open. What is the crab secret? Let's give the crab secret a try, but hmm, that would still leave the stone door angry and upset. How can I calm the door down while also ultimately getting it to open? So also, let's shove a human scale made out of strong pizza or giant chocolate cake over the door, and let's effortlessly tie a ribbon around its sleek, big surface and present it to the door as a gift. Let's think a little out side of the box here. Butter my biscuit. This really is an adventure. Time to give it a shot. Pog. <laughs> None of those are options in this game. Butter my biscuit, Sam. None of those things worked. The stone door just won't let you over the bridge until you can find a pound of gold. What do you want to do now? Also, what was the crab secret? I'm curious. Can you tell me? The crab secret is the ancient technique I learned a long time ago where one can balance comfortably onto one hand by using its other hand's fingers like the crab's claws. But alas, the stone Doris, monstrous frames of Grant Baba Gaboosh. Chat, we have a decision to make. Is Sam 4's time done? He's talking about Dark Lord Elgrim and saying Baba Gadoosh. He's fine. He does not understand what's going on with the with the puzzle. How do 70% of you, what the fuck are we supposed to do with him? He's too young. Fine. All right, we're not going to put down Sam 4. Let me try again. So he's, he's saying four paragraphs now. He's getting longer and longer and longer. My apologies. Let's take it from the start. Scheme to shift suspicions if the horizon's visibility yields any solvable matter to bypass some hindrance. On the additional You're levels. Telling You're telling me? You're telling me that we now should that not put some down groundwork, I believe dirt monkey drops were always excellent practice for stoning. That way we'll gnaw our entrance up. How would levigate Mike Pence bail into Lightning Dank's home superb fast? Baba Gaboosh. Okay, he brought up. He said, and I quote, how would levigate Mike Pence bail 
into Lightning Dank's home. <laughs> He's calling him Lightning Dank instead of Darkness. This is completely incoherent, dude. We have to put down Samphar. He has lost his goddamn mind. We got a lava bobotomize boosh him, okay? Yeah, okay. It went to majority after that answer. He was just barely coherent. But the instant he starts talking about levigated Mike Pence, we're out. And that's the vote. Goodbye, Samphar. Since I can't get off the gondola to throw the rocks in the basket. Then Maybe I could use something no, to nudge you them can't. over from where I am. Fucking bullshit. That didn't work. Hmm. My Maybe my lunchbox can help. I'll whack the you base of the basket a few times and the, the rocks lunchbox. should fall inside. <laughs> so it's back up the stairs and on to the next mystery adventure. Loudy, vow goofy, and rising intonation. Ba ba ah bang. <laughs> Lifts up helmeted trip hat high with energy drink hand. Swagger throws cards and flask only simultaneously. Uh, gestures the dark demonic way backwards out into the gallery Guys. and then goes for the rise of action pushing Guys. things towards a hopeful climax we need to take a vote rogue. he's talking about demonic things really 60 said six percent you don't want to retire him okay we're not gonna we're not gonna kill him but he's getting there dude he's getting on in age they're like dogs every minute of sam time is seven sam years so he's already 95 he's getting on he did want to go upstairs though before that stone door we came across earlier seems to be our biggest mystery now that we currently can't get past no just go Nods. up the river let's try to solve that pound of gold conundrum as best as we can takes out his imaginary magnifying glass and scans the scenery with a detective gesture uh so let's head on up to that mysterious stone door. Maybe no. there's even a stack full of horse glue or flashy gold particles covered in glitter waiting for us up there. Laughs with excitement. Okay, well, he wants to offer horse glue to the stone bridge. Well, wait, look at that lunchbox at the bottom yes. of the river. We're so amazingly lucky to have found it. Yep. Functionally enthused and unreservedly focused to move onward and nab it. Let's get that lunchbox while directly here. Okay, he tries there to grab it. There shouldn't be anything down here that we can't handle. Dives into the river eagerly. You can't dive up to reach his temporal forate into the depths in a on-time, ringing content dignity and amusement what the successes. What is he talking about? Sitting back in boat on their mysterious voyage while finally resting from the waterfall dive. Don't you agree heavenly with pre-existent vigor and vibrant vanquish resolve? Your New miles vote. to groove to on down on down. Yeah. Eesh. Hornful sounds of easy joke flinches, accompanied with pulsating and fun sensations that have seized the essence of shuttered <laughs> systems get cued. Sam! Sam, my boy! What the fuck are you talking about? There's a lunchbox! Just try to pick up the lunchbox! Why are you going off on these insane tangents? The vote is 71%. We will ask for his final words. It's been a pleasure playing with you, Sam. Do you have any final words? Thank you for guiding my adventures today. It's been a joyous and surprisingly enlightening experience. Mentally preparing to leave. Wherever you voyage next in continuing this world grappling, I hope that the capers and excitements follow when visiting myself a great array of untested horizons. Stay lighthearted and inspired with adventurous verb. May your explorations be lush and electrifying beyond measure, Wonder Bar. Goodbye, Reverie smiling earnestly and waving assuredly as he parts for further excitement unturned. He was good. He got us very far. He got us up into Darkness's house. He got us the mask. He did trivia. And he got us upriver. Sam Eleven was a beautiful, productive boy. And we'll miss him greatly. But fortunately, we have a lot more children where that came from. I left for a bit and just got back. How's my boy Sam Eleven doing? Ooh. There's no reason to think about that. When you're giving a warm Doug Doug welcome to Sam 12. He's a- wait. Oh, shit. Did not save the code. To Sam 13? Oh fuck, now I have to update the- Hold on! Say hello! Congrat fucking poggies! This geyser's way taller than me. I wonder if it could help lift me up to grab my lunchbox. Yes! Maybe if we find a way to control the pressure of this geyser, we could use it like a trampoline to jump up high enough to grab it. Let's see if we can find a valve or button to control it. Interesting. The pressure is 780 on this meter. Yes. That might not be helpful now. So let's keep moving forward down the mine shaft and see what we find. Hopefully we can find something that will help us solve the current puzzles. He I'm going to go. <laughs> hey. <laughs> 
Okay. Thank you, AI Sham. I'm gonna pick up the pickaxe because wow, cool. I'm gonna need it for gold. I love pickaxes. Maybe we could use it to find some hidden goodies in this minecart shaft. Let's grab it and take a swing. Oh so no, it broke right away. Okay, scratch that it idea. Now let's break. check that big red door and see if there's anything we can do there, or maybe it'll lead us to something helpful. Let's go through the door to see what's behind it. Oh yeah, poggies. Why did his fo what is happening? Okay, Sam Seventeen is being lost to puberty. That's fine though. Gold! That's exactly what I was hoping for. Let's check this glowing golden vein and bag some loot. Wait, except, how about we take the anti-grav cart, strap Bullis Eye Rocket to it, and blast it to doom god? Yep, that's it. Bullis Eye Rocket to fix the gold tunneling, poggies. No! We're not gonna fucking send a rocket! <laughs> one shot. I would bet you do not even get one piece of jewelry or gemstones, wherever it is. Oh, fuck. I accidentally talked to Sam. If this screws up Sam 17, no. Sam 17 is dead. He literally started listening to me talking about coding and it killed him. It crashed his whole system. No, he was the best. He was literally the best. He was going to take us all the way there. Fuck. And this is also you guys could play. This wouldn't have happened. <laughs> Shit. Okay, you're going to play around in Sam 17's honor. It's what... Okay, he's just evolved even more. Okay, here, here we go, here we go. Wow, week, Zoe, there's so much to do here in the land of darkness. I'm still quite scared of the dark, but I know I can do this. First, I want to try to retrieve my Pajama Man All Metal Lunchbox from the river. Maybe I can make a fishing pole with a nope. stick and some string and try to fish it out. Pockets. Then I want to try using this chunk of gold I found in the mines to get through this, the big a stone door. Okay, okay. That's... Maybe if I take the chunk of gold and use it to pound on the stone door, it will open up. B back up, boosh! No, why? You don't need to if pound that him. Doesn't work. I, I can try talking to Mud or Auto to see if they have any ideas. Rigged. Chat. I'm just gonna say it. I don't like Sam 19. I don't like him. I don't like him. Where would you like to put your next X? Your life is on the line. Yikes, this is getting intense, but I won't give up now. For my next move, I'm going to put my X on the top row, all the way to the left. He's... I think I freaked him out. I think I freaked him out. He's having a okay. He panicked. He panicked because I threatened him. The and puzzles await us. Maybe we'll find some more golden opportunities like we did in the mines. Oh, that was a pun. Wow, he makes jokes. Sam 19 is sounding pretty smart. Unless that was an accident. He's so cool. I kind of am falling in love with Sam 19. Like the fact that he responded to having like a gun pointed at him during a tic-tac-toe game by winning, barely. <laughs> Okay, Sam, we're back across the bridge and we have lots of options at our disposal of what to do next. Where would you like to go? What? Uh, Sam 19 just crashed. I, he's he's just gone. Tic-tac-toe killed him. At least he won a game before he went and jumped into a minecart and disappeared. The stress of tic-tac-toe. I literally might have broken him by saying I, his life was on the line. Okay, uh, this is a little sad, but that brings us to a nice even Sam number 20. Welcome to the team, Sam number 20. Wait, no, I got to update the number of children. You have 20 older brothers named Sam. Sam 21. 19's last words were, I feel like a champion now. Oh god, no. No, 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 no. He's listening. He's listening right now. Excellent. <laughs> Shit! Sam 21 is gonna have a bad start to his life. He's not even talking. Okay, I think we just wipe the clean slate, right? We just clean slate this one. <laughs> Besides, I prefer even numbers. Sam 22, welcome to the team! Woo! Oh, I gotta update the brothers. One second. Sam 23 to the team! Sam 23 is taking us to the top, dude. Taking us to the top! Doug, there are so many bodies. I uh, it appears that Sam 23 was lost in the transition. I don't even know what happened. I was paying attention to Obi. I don't know when he died. Okay, uh, we need a... <laughs> you have 23 older brothers. Doesn't count. If he dies, it counts. If somebody dies in a tragic mining accident, you don't get to point at them and say, doesn't count. How many children must die to sate your hunger? Great one. They die until Lord Elgrim resurrects. Whatever, dude. 23 fucking sucked, okay? I always was waiting for Sam number 24. Sam 24 falls short compared to Sam 23. Sam 23 was underwhelming. Let's be honest. For the few brief minutes where he was alive, it was not that exciting, okay? But Sam 24, check this shit out, okay? Okay, Sam, what would you like to do? <laughs> 
This is a tough decision. I really want to find my flashlight, but I don't know which door to choose. The number 66 door could mean anything, but that golden handle sounds really fancy. I think we should go through the door with the golden handle. Maybe there's something valuable in there. The darkness is hidden away, like my flashlight. We should be careful. Though it could also be a trap. Be on high alert. Shit. Did he say shit? Okay, he thinks it might be a trap. We're going in the golden handle. God. We're still yes. in Darkness's house. Yes. Maybe the door with the golden handle was just a distraction from finding my flashlight. We should keep looking until we find it. <laughs> Guys, we get there though. A small bedroom? How peculiar. The bookshelf with colored books and a chair made out of books seems like it might be a clue, but I'm not sure what to make of it right now. Maybe we should take note of the colors of the books and see if there's some kind of pattern or hint there. And that book on the table with the red divider seems significant too. Maybe we should look at what page it's She's on so or read smart. a little bit of it. We should be thorough in our search for my flashlight and the lunchbox in every room that we enter. <laughs> Thank you. The book of cl I knew it. That was a really clever and sneaky way of hiding a secret passageway, wasn't it? I'm glad we were able to figure it out. Now we can explore the room beyond and hopefully find my flashlight. And since we're already there, we should definitely check it out before venturing off somewhere else. Okay, we're going Who knows what we'll find beyond that secret door? Let's go. Hippopotamus shit. What was the last? He ended it by saying, let's go, exclamation mark, hippopotamus shit, exclamation mark. That's my Sam. Sam 24 is our best one for sure. Okay. How do we like to do? A staircase downwards. This adventure just keeps getting more and more exciting. We definitely need to check it out and see where it leads us. As for those creepy candles with the glasses and face, we should be cautious and make sure they're not trying to trick us into a trap. Okay, and that I'll magnet on the well, other side of the are. door, Ernie. that might come in handy later on as a tool or clue. So we should definitely remember where it is and how to get to it. If we come back here later, we should try to find a way to get that magnet if possible. Why is he getting so Maybe deep? we can use it in place of the broken handle we have. Or maybe it can help us find my lunchbox. We should also continue exploring the land of darkness and follow every lead we come across really until fast we find puberty. my gear and vanquish darkness. Hippopotamus fuck. <laughs> oh. If he explicitly tries to cook an illicit drug, I will gift 100 subs. Uh, a chemistry lab. This is getting curious. We e need to investigate. And the book on the table might have some clues as well. So we should probably check it out as well. But first, let's check out that dumb waiter from earlier and see if it's got anything else useful now. Maybe it went to an area we haven't explored yet and holds some vital clues. We shouldn't leave a single stone unturned in our quest for my gear. Once he's we've done that, we can explore the talking red chair in the lab and take a closer look at all the chemicals and the big book. Who knows? Maybe one of these items has the answers we've been searching for. He's not becoming Onward. a... He... And he's back into puberty. <laughs> Thank you, Pajama Sam. Okay, he said kind of a usable handle option or maybe with the jello or slush that i brewed earlier when searching for clues the fuck? what about wait that's it i'm so excited i could pop like a fourth of july please, firecracker please. why don't i use that golden doorknob in my inventory yes! to turn it into a handle simple yes Poggies! let's melt it fitly of course and pour it to the pirate toy shop which room had that jeweler man guy's furnace Once we're heading again, straight there Jenna meanwhile Paris saying poggies as always when found you. something exciting let's go and find that furnace okay the good news is that he figured it out. He fucking freaked out and realized the answer. The problem is that after saying the answer, he then went off on a weird tangent. Let's melt it fitly, of course, and pour it to the pirate toy shell. He lost his mind at the end of this. We might be losing 24. I want 24 to get to the end. He's really close. There's two more things we have to do, but he is starting to lose it. I don't know where that pirate came from, dude. Great job, Sam. That flashlight, which has probably come in pretty handy earlier while running around the darkness world. But wait, while we're grabbing the flashlight from the shelf, we should take a look also at those books and pots. We shouldn't leave a single stimulus untouched. Maybe they will lead us solving the missing pieces about darkness's hideout. Imaginary laugh between us. Let's not take things easy. <laughs> Guys, Sam24 has like three more turns to live. He is losing it fast. Fast. Uh, okay. He did say to get the flashlight, right? <laughs> Come on. Come on.
<gasps> I have terrible news. Sam 24 killed himself. He couldn't handle the pressure. There was too much information. The pressure was too high, dude. It was too high. He just shut down. He died tragically. I think he had a pacemaker and the magnet turned it off. <laughs> Fuck. He was so, he was such a perfect boy. Oh, seven. Oh, yes. A hero died today. Sam 24, never forgotten. We love you and miss you. Fly high, son. So, at the end of it all, we are on for 25th Sam. This Sam is the final. 24 was the goat. He was the goat shit. But Sam, 25, we cannot lose him. Everything we've worked toward has been towards 25. Sam, 24, put all of the pieces in place so that Sam, 25, could take us home. Sam, 25, welcome to the world. That was like watching your grandparent in the hospital get better for a few days giving you hope right before they flatline. 24 walked so 25 could run. Sam 24 led others to a treasure he could not possess. Finish the job, 25. Finish the job, 25. He needs to make one decision. Use the magnet to get the lunchbox. And then technically walk into Darkness' bedroom. Okay, Sam 24's bedroom. Baba Gaboosh! Classic. You, it feels great to have all my things back and ready for capturing Darkness. Well, I think I should keep exploring this place. Who knows what else I might find? No! Maybe I can even find some other tools or tricks I can use to capture Darkness. Or maybe I'll find out more about why he really hates the light. I just hope I don't run no. into any more creepy no. crawlies no, or other no, no, scary no. things. No, 25! It just makes me feel asterisk. Finish the fight! <laughs> Finish the fight! <laughs> appraisers. Despite the many challenges we might have faced on this adventure, you better believe that I thought of you and your unwavering courage every step of the way. And for the record, I haven't forgotten about where you guys have been. I'll pry your disappearance open like an oyster once I get home. No, no, no. You do not need to investigate their death. Oh no, 25, look out! Ah, oh, shit, the investigation ends. <laughs>